So y'all, the lighting gonna be kind of bad in here. Most bathrooms have bad lighting. So, we're gonna clean the bathroom. A little Ajax. Got white towels, white socks, white bras, and that's it. And only white stuff. And we're gonna put those all up in here. And let the towels get the uh I mean get the bathroom and full water. And if I got a white t-shirt or something, I can put that in here too. Everything is white except for underwear. Like underwear. I wash all my underwear separately.
you know you got enough water when your clothes are submerged in water. So right now, I don't have enough water in here. Um, and I just add my laundry detergent, which I've done already. So I was like, I'm doing nothing. I had cheap laundry detergent from the 99 cent store. And I'm trying to see what the lamp of this sweater is. Uh, and then I added almost a half a bottle of products because I like to add a lot of products to my clothes. So, and then I just like to go around preliminary because my water is scalding hot. When I wash my uh, hot clothes, I don't put it on medium heat, warm water. I put it on all the way hot. So that's one reason why I use this thing and it's perfect because I don't have to stick my hands in the water and I could just go around and do this because I'm gonna let these clothes soak for a couple of hours until the water gets cool where I can get in here with my feet and stop it. But this is my process on how to wash my white clothes which are large towels small towels, t-shirts, socks, and bras. So that's all I put in here. No underwear, no undergarments. I just like to wash my undergarments separate because just for sanitary reasons to me, I think it's nasty to wash your underwear with your towels because you have people in your house, you have guests that come to your house, that wash their face with towels and you're giving them a towel that you wash with your underwear where I just don't think it's sanitary. That's my kind I don't even wash my underwear with my regular clothes. I wash my underwear separate. And that's just my preference, you guys. That's just my preference. Do you? And I do you. I ain't telling you how to do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. But anyway, that's about enough water in here. And I'm gonna go get some Dawn dishwashing liquid and pour some Dawn dishwashing liquid in here as well. Okay, so I got my Dawn dish soap. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Dawn going on. I have learned that uh, thanks to the person that brought me done dish soap on my other channel, Tasty McVeigh Eats. I will be using Done for Life. It's what well, definitely worth paying more for because it does last longer. Just me adding a little bit in here. Have it this up. And we want more sub and add more down. But a little bit really does go down. Especially if you were at a laundry mat and you put a little down up in there, then you ain't got the bottle of big old bottle of dishwashing liquid. Is my new go to. Okay, now we're gonna let this soak an hour or two hours, however long we feel like it, okay? So I'll be back. Letting the clothes soak for hours. I'm tired. I'm about to go to bed. It's going on 2 a.m. in the morning. And I will resume. I'm going to let these clothes soak for the rest of the night. They got Clorox in them. They're not going to get sour or spoiled or anything like that. So I will resume this video tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so the clothes are. They have been soaking in the bathtub yesterday and I like to bring y'all up why y'all crooked anyway 
water. The water gonna be too cold. So we just stepping in right here. So I'm just gonna do this. Everything's looking white and cool. So We got all hundred and sixty dollar rolls. We delicate. This is the delicate side. We got all hundred and sixty dollar rolls. Delicate side. We washing them in the bath too, not the same. So what I'm gonna do is let this water out and then I'm gonna stop it.
you can make this as many or as less steps as you want to. Remember, we soak this overnight. If you have stuff that's really sore and you want to soak it longer, that's the advantage too. set up in my bathtub and I could dry them that way and that's actually what I'm going to do today so in my apartment complex we can't put anything on the porch so the only time that I can put my laundry outside is on the weekend so or after 5 p.m. So, since it's a weekday, we are going to let these dry and hang out in the bathroom. And it really doesn't take that long, like, depending on what I wash. It might take a day, day and a half to dry. These towels, they're gonna take a little longer. I try to take my bath first before I do this, before I wash them or I wash them, put them in my little container, then take my bath and then hang them up. Okay, now I'm gonna draw some more water to rinse.
Okay, I'm letting the water out, you yeah. know. And then I'm going to just step on it and stump it to drain as much of the water out. Okay, now that all the water is out, I'm just gonna step on the clothes. As much water as I with my feet. So that makes this windy for me. Because my hand always gets blisters in the middle. So I'm going to finish this process and I'll come back when I'm ready to move to the next process. Okay, okay y'all, I could stump this some more, but sometimes my feet get tired. So I'm going to put on these gloves because if I don't, I'm going to get blisters from ringing. And the last couple of times I tried bringing out my clothes with gloves on, I didn't get blisters, and I know I'm going to get them every time, so that's what we're going to do, so I'm going to You don't have 
find a pair of gloves to get you some if you're hand washing your clothes. And I like the ones with the little rubber right there. It helps you to get a good grip.
So I'm gonna put my rack and bang to
Okay, y'all. I think I'm gonna go get my clothes clean back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I got my clothes clean. So, what I normally do is just take come here like in an hour and bring this out again if you want to with your gloves on so that way you won't get any um, blisters so i'm gonna get my other camera so i can pick it up and show you guys how this looks hanging here the clothes that are in the bathtub hanging we washed them in the bathtub and now we're gonna try them in the bathtub so this is how i wash and dry Seven of the large towels and a lot of the small towels. And I got some, a lot of dirty clothes, color clothes waiting to be washed, y'all. But I wanted to get the white clothes out the way. Since I'm in and out of the house right now, when I'm gonna be away for a couple of days, I can wash a load of clothes and just let them be drying while I'm gone. Multitasking, doing more than one thing at a time. So, if y'all enjoyed this video on how I wash my laundry in my bathtub, please thumbs up the video. Leave me some comments down below in the comment bar and let me know that you have to wash your clothes on your hands. Do you choose to wash your clothes on your hands? And what does that process look like for you? Let me know if this video was helpful for you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell here always after you hit the notification bell and come back for another video. I'm going to have some videos at the bottom of the screen that you can go ahead and watch after this one. If you like these laundry videos, I got plenty more. 